all right guys today we're going to be reacting to single mom's claim to have a black ghetto soul like eminem all right let's see what's going on here uh in an email you sent me you said you have personas like eminem slim shady marshall mathers it's a it's a thing for us genius black ghetto slave souls inside sexy white bodies yeah well you guys weren't that interested in hearing about my... I was interested. I'm, I'm interested. Are you interested? About the black ghetto slave soul inside. Or what, what part of it were you interested in? Well, sorry. You, were, you said you guys weren't that interested in... in well, what? so it goes back to my talk about white supremacy and trying to explain oh, here we it's go. an energetic okay. matter. It's an ideology. It's a matter of ideology. Wait, we did want to hear it, but then you hit the, 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 the no button. Well, because it did not seem that you really wanted to understand. It seemed that you wanted to propagate a particular ideology, and that's exactly what I was I know, trying this to is talk projection about, again. it wasn't... Was it a... Sorry, sorry. Go ahead. So I, I'd like to explain the concept from my worldview so that you understand. Cable donated $100. Madison, <coughs> blink twice slowly if you're in danger. <laughs> <laughs> so imagine from my perspective, right, that I see that there's a whirlpool and you're in a boat. And I, everything that goes near this whirlpool gets sucked down, okay? And I say, listen you're in this boat, but if you go towards that whirlpool, it's going to suck you down. And you go, no, 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 listen. From my perspective, it's not a whirlpool. It's a, I don't know, a fucking Zazzly Baz. You call it a Zazzly Baz. And you go, and I think I can just sail right through it. And I go, no, stupid. It's a whirlpool, and you're going to get sucked down into it, and you're going to die. Don't do that. And you go, no, nope, I'm going to do it anyway, and you just go out, and you get sucked down the whirlpool, right? Mm -hmm. That's how it is with ideologies, too. So when somebody says to me, they're like, ah, it's just my ideology, therefore it's just my opinion, and so therefore you trying to say anything about it isn't correct, it's like, ah, no, I think it is. I think it's fine to say, see that vortex there? That so makes no, hang on, hang on, I'm almost done, almost done. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> that little whirlpool or whatever that you're about to go down, right? That's just stupid, that go, red button is ah, stupid. Do that. Don't do that. Okay, so you're trying to be my daddy? No, I'm not trying to be your daddy. I would do that for a total stranger. And this is supposed to be a, a coach that is cured with trauma. Folks, and I think one of the guys was saying in the last comments, uh, the last video, he said that, yeah, you can cure trauma. No, folks, you cannot cure trauma. You can suppress it and control it, right? We all have trauma. I have a lot of traumas. But that doesn't mean that they can control my, my, my life, right? But that's why you do a lot of exercise, right? You read. You do a lot of motivational you write down your journal make sure you go to the gym all these things just contribute to a better healthy lifestyle but you cannot uh you cannot cure them clearly she's not cured at all she's not cured at all she has a lot of whatever she's doing is not working really? yeah protected by you it's not an interest of you it's an interest for me so, whether or not you're a person who says i'm going to pour gasoline on myself and light a match because i want to do this because wow. i want be to crazy. be immolated and completely cook myself and i see you going for that match i'll still stop you anyway but the damage that you did to me in the last show if i was not such an emotionally stable person i would have gone home and myself oh my god okay so the th you know it's really funny um i didn't a feel lot of protected times, by you there's a lot of i'm not there to protect you i thought you just no, said that you you're were. not listening to what i'm saying i'm saying that i'm making a comparison to an ideology and saying to you that i'm not going to keep your fragile ideology intact or not destroy the fragile ideology if it's bad because that in some way is going to be emotionally painful that's cognitive dissonance that's that's what that is it is emotionally painful to shrug off bad ideologies that's true that's true it's just like saying okay my leg is broken okay well it healed wrong i gotta break it again so it heals right it's the same thing and the more you propagate that ideology the, the more you see your ideology get broken yeah, over, and over, and over and over and over and over and over and over as the leg gets reset time and time and time again you call that emotional grape right i call it logic and reason 
I, I got a couple questions. Damn, uh, Ryan, we should have, Ryan, you should have just let it just sink a little bit deeper. Let the tension build a little bit. You said that you, I don't want to reuse the word precisely, the words you precisely used. You said that you went home and wanted to harm yourself because you were, because of your experience on the show. No, I was saying that if I was less emotionally stable, I could see how I would do that. We've had over a thousand people on the show. They're when all you, fine. When you assault They're men, fine? couldn't that be the result of that too? Could it? <laughs> couldn't it be the the result when you assault men? Did you feel in danger? You know, yeah. Well, yeah. Of course. Yes. Of course. Any woman who's not my wife, who in any way tries to put sections of her body near me yeah, like that, that's not in a good. provocative way, that's not good. Dangerous as hell. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I'm just They're horribly I'm, dangerous. I'm just curious. Had Andrew done something similar and he like exposed himself? Yeah, went over and just whipped it out. That would have like, been okay. Would you... I would be comfortable with that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Man, she's laughing. I'm telling you, she's uh, that type of woman. Yeah, she, look. look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's just go back a little bit. Okay. Would you. I would be comfortable with had Andrew done something similar and he like exposed himself? Yeah, went over and just whipped it out. That would have like, been okay. Would you... I would be comfortable. See, because it, let me just put it here in, into the social dynamic, right? These guys, she couldn't win the chess test. So she's right now in a submissive state. So now there's an attraction, right? Now, of course, you can ask. It's not that obvious, but it is. She's in a, in a submissive state because her sexuality and, you know, social power didn't work on, on the guy. So now she's in a, a total submissive state. And that's why she feels attraction. She is going deep into these weird fantasies in, in the show. With that. Oh, my God. Do you think most women would? I'm not most women. Okay, there we go. Right, but... Andrew's no, not like you. Here's the Andrew's thing. not like but you. But here's the thing. That's not passive aggressive. That is you literally showing me exactly what you're trying to do. When you use psychological tactics and emotional manipulation based off of my trauma responses, that is passive aggressive. That is then you trying to manipulate and hurt me. Rather than, I would literally rather you pull down your pants and put your in my face. Yeah, then I know what I'm dealing with. I did not know what I was going to be dealing with in the last show. Yeah, so it felt like, it felt like, that's what I'm saying. It felt like a manipulation and an emotional. Yes, yeah, so I can understand. Because I did understand. not know. I thought I was yeah. literally coming on a dating podcast. So I can understand from, from the perspective of <laughs> saying that you'd rather see immediate action other than what you would consider to be passive aggressive or manipulative. I would hang just on, rather on, on. see, put your cards on the table. <laughs> so other than manipulative yeah, she likes tactics, that. right? We are right, but when she you likes the manipulative folks. tactics, you're saying you would much rather see somebody be physically aggressive. Yes. Sure, I can understand that. That at least makes sense to me. Yeah. But isn't it also a form of passive aggressive manipulation to say, because I have trauma responses to perceive things, you don't know anything about me, you, there was no way for you to ever determine what these trauma responses would be, um, that me just having a normal conversation with you like I would anybody else on this show and have done a thousand times, isn't that a form of manipulation? Well, you had disclosed to me that you were not affected emotionally by... Still anything. trying. She's so still trying. You. Same thing you I'm said. She's trying. She's trying to, I think what I notice when it comes down to these type of dynam dynamics, when a female managed to just shame you and top of the guilt trip you, to do things right, that's where she wins the encounter. That's what she's trying to do since they started. She needs to make him feel guilt. That's that's the... If she managed to make the guy feel guilt, it's game over. She's losing. She's, so the guys are passing the chat test. And she's getting... And the more she's failing, the more submissive she gets. Which is a weird state because you don't want this kind of people around you. These people are, 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 are a ticking time bomb. They can't explode any time. Deeply, I'm deeply emotionally affected by people. No, what you said to me was, you said, listen, this isn't a big deal, right? This conversation in this context doesn't matter. Doesn't matter to me. That's what you said. When? But as we're, you said, this doesn't matter. I have no respect for you. And if I was a less emotional person, I would have gone home and off myself. I can handle it, right? 
No, no. I was not saying that I had no emotion. I was saying if I had less emotional intelligence and tools to process those emotions, I could understand with this bullying that people experience, which I had not honestly experienced anything like this before, nothing like it at all. Yeah, I never experienced anything like that either. Yeah. I never experienced well, a woman trying to, to sexually assault me. So now at least I feel like we're on the same playing field. Yeah, no, it's not the same playing field to I, physically I, assault somebody versus your perception of guy made argument which hurt my feelings, therefore he emotionally graped me. That's okay. absurd. Okay. That's like not in the same universe. Okay. Yeah. Hey, right. hey you see? On tiered logic, right? You see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. You, you want me to tell you you win? I mean, there you go. see, I'm Is telling that? you, I'm telling you folks. I'm telling you, she's trying multiple tactics to make sure she can grasp and hook Andrew, but it's not working. It's not working. She will even use sexuality to just trap him, and it's not working. Yeah, you is know that, what? Yeah, say, say, Andrew, so all I'm trying you. To do <laughs> is literally. What the hell was that? Get to the point of. Do you want me to get on my knees and submit? No. I well, I want oh, yeah. you to do is engage with the arguments. That's it. So that you can f with me? No, so I can understand your worldview. So you can you. monetize f with me? No, so that I can understand your worldview. You understand my worldview. Really? That's because why you're I, picking it apart. Every time I ask you a question about it, I lead to the next, to the next, to the next, and I still don't actually get coherent answers. <laughs> Maybe that's <laughs> well thought out on my part. Oh, yeah, I stole your pen. <laughs> <laughs> it's well thought, so you don't want to tell me what your ideology Rude. is? <laughs> I don't want to tell my brain that you give a shit about understanding me because it's not actually true. Yeah, I w listen, I would not be here if I didn't give a shit about other False. people's worldviews. False. How that? Ooh, that's you here. That that's weird, man. That is very weird. My God, I don't know, folks. What I'm thinking when it comes down to stuff like this is if I didn't, you need, you really need to, have, you need to do a lot of inner games to just have a frame like that, right? And I'm not saying that Andrew is doing it, you know, marvelously, right? He just has his own style, of course, but it's not easy keeping a very straight face while she's trying to manipulate you, so sedu sedu trying to do seduction on you, tr guilt trip you, trying to put some chain, a lot of sign language. But the first that the, the, the guys are keeping the eye on the ball makes a huge difference. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next one.